This piece of Transformers TCG content is brought to you in part by all these content creators and the Facebook community. Go check out the creator's content in the description of this video, as we all continue to grow this fantastic game's content and its community. We hope you all enjoy this new series. Autobots, roll out! What up guys, it's Lee here from Bleeped Up Productions and today we're bringing you something a little bit special. What we're bringing you today is the Deck Tech Challenge. That's right, Mike and me did an episode. It was a pilot episode. And then we threw it out there in the community and it caught on fire. We got a lot of people hyped to do it. And then we asked people, would you like to be a part of this? And guess what? The floodgates freaking opened guys and it was phenomenal. Within the first day we had 20 plus people. 20 plus people wanting to do a collaboration on this whole medium that we're doing. And it's fantastic. All we want to do is grow the game of the Transformers TCG. And we've got big channels and we've got small channels all working together here on the YouTube. We've got people who do content on YouTube. We've got podcasters. We've got live streamers. We've got people who run tournaments. We've got people in the community. Guys, this, this is just ridiculous. This is like the Mortal Kombat. Of Transformers TCG right now that's going on online. I don't think anyone's done a mega collaboration like this. A lot of the channels do coincide and work together, but I don't think anyone's done like 20 plus at the moment. I think we've just set a new record. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna explain the rules right now, and then we're gonna get straight into the episode, and we're gonna let the challengers throw down here on Bleeped Up Productions. Okay, so the deck tech challenge is very, very simple. It basically is divided into three rounds. Round one. And in round one, what happens as soon as you get your opponent is you nominate two characters and two battle cards. These uh, cards can be from any particular wave. Uh, they can have uh, synergies with the cards or they can complete jank or they don't work. And then you go ahead and you go straight into round two. Round two. Now round two is where you build the deck and you try and build something that is either amazing or completely janky or something themed. You can choose what you want to do. But the problem is you need to use one of the cards that the other person has given you. You have to choose at least one of the characters and one of the battle cards. You could use both characters or you could use both battle cards, but you have to at least pick one battle card and one character. And in round two, you show the deck. You basically discuss it by telling what's in the card and a little bit of synergy, shall we say. And then we move into round three. Round three. Now round three is where you guys have a battle report. Basically you will record yourselves having a game uh, using the decks and it's basically one game and that is it. But if you can't record your games, no need to worry because round three is a little bit different because it'll either be a battle report or talking about the deck synergies. Now, I know not everyone can record. So basically, this is basically a little bit of information for people who are going to try out this deck, what to look out for. And then we will release the video so the community and us here on Bleeped Up Productions and all the other content creators that are a part of this series can try these decks out and see how it is. And that is as simple as it gets. That is the deck tech challenge. Challenge someone, build a deck, play the game of the TCG. All right, everybody, welcome to Bleeped Out Productions. Uh, I am Dan from VectorSigma.info, and I'm joined today with... Uh, Mondo Spanner, uh, also known as Ben. <laughs> oh, there you go, simple enough. Um, so we're here to do the Deck Tech Challenge for the Bleeped Out guys. 
Um, and I'm really excited to do this. I'm really excited to get into it. But like, they wanted us to do a little bit of an intro. So why don't you kick us off? Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah. So um, just, a, just a player, really. Like um, I play uh, with Lee um, at a fortnightly tournament in Derby uh, in England. Um, yeah, that's about it, basically. And, and also, I play a lot down there in, in Northampton at Manuscrew. I ran a tournament earlier this year in the UK, but basically the only one because of Corona. Yep. So far, so uh, until the end of the year, yeah, that's about it, really. It'll be the, the, the all I won tournament in Manuscrew in Northampton. It's yeah. Fun. Yeah, it's been a little weird this year, so it's it's really fun to do this. Um, yeah. Ex- especially because you know Lee really went deep and like. There's 20 of us, and we're all from all over the world. So it's going to be like a lot yeah, of fun exactly. to like meet new people. Like We were just talking, like, I've never met you before. So it's cool, because no. I like, get to meet a new friend, right? Like, hey, that's what that's what community building is for. So it's really exciting for me. Yeah. Um, so for those that don't know me, I'm Dan Arnold. Uh, I run VectorSigma.info's YouTube channel. I am your current reigning Energon Invitational Champion. So that's cool, I guess. That card that you're all excited to get, Perceptor, at least I hope you're all excited to get it. It's pretty cool, so that was me. But <laughs> other than that, that's not that. I'm just here to have some fun with everybody else. Um, so I'm ready to get into it if you want to get into it. I believe part one is we have to give our ch- each other the two characters. So we flipped... Yeah, and the we flipped, battle cards as and, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I figure we'll both we'll, we'll go through the characters, then we'll both do uh, uh, the battle cards. We'll do them individually. Get ready! So yeah, what do you right. want to do? You want to go first or second on the battle on the characters? I'm gonna go first, I think. All right, go for it. Let's go! Round one, fight. So the first one uh, that I chose for you uh, is Nova Star. Okay. 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 Um, I just did it because she's got quite a high point. The stats are pretty good though, um, and I was also really interested in the car truck. Yeah, car truck's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah. No. So um, I thought that'd be quite interesting for you. I just want to say as well to everybody that um, Anne and I spoke on Messenger beforehand, and we were like, right, are we going to be nice to each other? Are we going to yeah. stitch each other <laughs> yeah, up? Yeah. Yeah. We chose to stitch each other up, but uh, I can't be that harsh. Uh, no, 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 no. All right. You want me to go now? Go and throw one at you. Yeah, right, you do. So well. I'm gonna go with a Vector Sigma Info reveal card in Beachcomber. Oh, which is the okay. seven star Autobot that you can flip back and forth, and if you name the right card, you get to draw three cards. Yeah, so I've been foxing him. Oh. I've been running him with Major Shockwave. Um, oh, okay. Right. Well, then maybe you already have an idea. There you go. <laughs> I already got one for you. To yeah, me, he's just the—he's a really, really cool character, and he's definitely like a build-around character. Um, yeah. But I don't know like how close he is to like doing anything in the competitive scene, so he might not see a whole lot of love. So I figured this be a, a good way to maybe give him a shot. Yeah, plus you can take a lot of indirect damage. Oh, well, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I went for wave five as well, actually, on this one. Um, I'm kind of interested by this card because it looked so difficult to make it work. Okay. So without further ado, challenge accepted. Oh, okay. I like wingspan. Okay. Yeah, I'll be really interested. If you can make him work, I'll be really interested to see that. We'll see, we'll see. I, I, I like a good challenge, so I, I could, I could maybe dabble with that one. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, I, I did go both Wave 5 characters, because... Oh, okay. All right, the second one is another one that, like, every time I come up with an idea for him, I'm just like, ah. So, like, <laughs> it's like it's like he's so close, but, like, maybe not close enough. So I went with Crankcase. Oh, really? Yeah. Now I've been uh, using him in another deck. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so you're, you're ready to go then. You already got some yeah, ideas no, brewing. I'm to take that I'm, I'm happy with. Man. That's good. That's good. That's cool. That's Crankcase cool. is really interesting. Yeah, he's a really cool card. And like it's, we've come up, we've talked about him a lot. So it'll be real. I'll, I'll be intrigued to see how you how you handle him if if you go that route. And the cool thing is, is you might even be able to use both those characters together because they're both seven star characters. So hey. All right. What nice about one. your first? Yeah, what about your first battle card? Um, yeah, so to help you with Nova Star, I thought I would give you a hand. I've came up that quick. Oh, 
that's cool. All right. I don't know. I'm okay with Team I don't Objectives. really ever see it very much nowadays. So I don't really think I ever saw it much before. I, I was playing in an uh, in an Optimus, the new Optimus Legendary, Legendary Warrior deck. So I I, I, oh. I know the card. It can it can heal. I got it. I thought I'd be helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna name. Uh, I'm gonna nominate another Wave Five card. I have all five Wave Five cards for you. Sorry, oh, okay. a lot of new fun stuff. I'm gonna go with Hit and Run. Which is the card. the flip? Yeah, the white black that flips from body to all. You can move a damage, but it gives you and free you flip. Damage to somebody in mode. Yeah, it's yeah. A great card. Yeah, I'm right after that. That's awesome. <laughs> I think we've been nicer to each other than maybe we intended. No, it's okay. Uh, um, there's nothing wrong with, with that whatsoever, because yeah, I'd rather see it be fun and interesting than play random cards, that's all. Yeah, cool. Right, so uh, then my last one, um, because Wingspan is a specialist, Intelligence Mission. Because I can't think of it. <laughs> I, can't think of it. <laughs> I, just, I got nothing else. This is all I got. <laughs> I just thought I'd do it because it's a, just for specialists. It's five stars or more. Right, I'd be right. Interested to see whether you'd use her attacks or whether you'd use that card. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, but so, yeah, but so it's definitely something to one, think about for sure. It's my one death card, dude, I'm afraid. I, I I like I ha I close my window for the name of this card and I want to just make sure I say it right. So <laughs> it's the Beachcomber Stratagem. So it's it lets you uh, play one star action and one star upgrade in your deck if you choose to go Beachcomber. Um, so I was giving you a little bit, a little maybe a little push into that direction in case you wanted to go that way. I'd like to see that. Um, and I thought the crankcase one, if if you're gonna play crankcase, you might play it anyway. So I figured this one gives you the option. If you go beachcomber, maybe you go all in, you get some more fun stuff in your deck. <laughs> well, if you take them together with both their strap. Yeah, yeah, you could for sure. Oh, so, that sounds right. really good. Okay, sir. Well, challenge of round one is complete. And um, we'll take a couple days, we'll build our decks, and then we'll, uh, yep. we'll get back for part two. Yeah, fantastic. Let's go! Round two, fight! All right, everybody, we are back for part two of the Deck Tech Challenge here from Bleeped Out Productions. I am joined once again by my friend Mondo. How you doing, Mondo? I'm good, how are you? Not bad, not bad. All right, so we are, we are here to present our deck profiles for the characters and battle cards that we decided to use. So you're going to kick it off for us. Cool. The characters I gave you were Beachcomber and Crankcase. And then you gave me Beachcomber, Strat, and Hit and Run, didn't you? That's yes, I did. Let's talk about the character first. Go ahead. Okay, cool. So I could have done Beachcomber, but I chose Crankcase. Because right. I do like a little bit of aggro, and he does get quite naughty once you've got the, uh, once you've got the cards in hand. I agree. So, um, so the team I went with was Crankcase. Um, I partnered him with Windcharger. Mm -hmm. Because that's just an awesome, like synergistically, it's really strong. Yeah. Um, I'll explain why in a minute, but mm -hmm. like basically wind charge at turn one obviously gets plus three, so he's hitting out for base seven. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you flip him, you draw a card and plan a card, and the draw in the card is actually really, really, really useful. Yeah, and like you, um, you plan is a may, so you don't even have to plan. No, that's it, exactly. So mainly what you're doing is you're using the draw ability to up your hand mm -hmm. to make sure the crankcase can swing out in turn two with... Um, with at least a weapon or a, an action being played on him and still have five in hand. Uh, and then uh, my third um, character is my favorite character, I think in wave five, which is Brawn. Okay. Um, he just seems like, or from where when I've been playing him, he's just like a more consistent kind of RC, I suppose, because mm -hmm. he just puts, you know, he perm he's always getting like six or seven pierce and, yeah. and getting that amount of damage as well. So that's really, really good. And then last but not least is Powertrain. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. And a little touch of bowl just means that you're getting that extra pierce off, so that more consistent damage output. Uh, I, quite, I, I like that. That's good. It works out all right. I'm really interested to hear what your team is. <laughs> all right, so you gave me Windspan and Autobot Nova. Nova Star, and then my cards were Intelligence Mission and Team Up Tactics. I decided to go with Wingspan, and I did that because I've I've done enough of playing with games with Autobot Nova Star, and I didn't want to just be like, oh, I'll just put her with this person, and then I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't exciting for me to do it, and we're kind of here to okay. we're here to have fun, here to do a little something different. So what I had done is I took a couple days. I really thought about what I wanted to do Wingspan, and for what it's worth, I probably came up with like three or four different ideas. Um, cool. But I really settled on one because of another character that I think got a lot more love in Wave 5 uh, than it ever did before. So I'm teaming Wingspan with Detritus. Which is oh, the boy. mercenary truck uh, that has the bounty to heal three. And then yeah. that puts me at 11 with 8 for Wingspan, so that's 19. And then I went with Night Racer. For the 5. And then I closed it off by using Wingspan Stratagem. So that would be my 25 stars. Um, so all of their um, upgrades always scrap underneath uh, wings wingspan. Right. So every upgrade that gets scrapped automatically goes up. I don't need to be in like some weird mode or anything, and I just get to keep building that def that defense up. And then like I looked at it as Detritus is kind of like a little bit of a combo because you get to a it's a ranged character, so it works with javelin, for example. Yeah. Um, and then B the bounty to heal can actually heal my wingspan to keep the defensive wall that I'm building up. Oh, now that's interesting. So does Detritus' um, ability, I thought that only worked for him. Mm, yep, touche. Repair from him. That's okay. It still works with the other things. It's fine. Um, no, no, that's cool. like, I, just, but, I, just, like, I was like, oh, if that works for somebody else, I'm going to be No, 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 no. You got me. Um, but that's okay, because the, the whole other part is fine. Uh, <laughs> no, that's wicked. That sounds really good. Like, so, I, 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 was, I was interested to see if you went with Wingspan, because... Mm -hmm. I think he is a really interesting character in Wave 5. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I think you could have built him like a bunch of different ways. I had thought about Wingspan a couple different ways. I was going to maybe put it in like this giant defensive wall deck and like just, I don't know. I, it would have been really boring to play against and for me to play, so I'm like, I don't want to do that. And then I, th I actually thought about it in like a daring escape type deck also, because you get to put a bunch of cards underneath and you get to take away. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, I, so I thought about that as well, then I was like, eh. Let's just do something different. <laughs> like, all right, so you want to get into the battle decks? Yeah, man. Uh, do you want me to do all my upgrades and then all of, of my um, actions? Yeah, let's do it that way. It's easier to edit. <laughs> thinking right, about sorry, you, Lee. Um... Thinking about you. <laughs> so my actions are... Uh, no, my upgrades, sorry, mm -hmm. are three sturdy javelins. In this deck, it's quite good. It's really useful on Crankface because he's the only ranged character in this deck. Um, and, you know, if you swing up the base eight and you pop somebody for two, that's, you know, it's a pretty strong thing to do. Um, I've got two backup beams, um, mainly for the bold. They're mainly for board mm. and power train. Fair. Um, and they're green, so you only need two of them. Three grenade launchers, because why leave home without one? Mm. Three unflinching courage. All about bold card. I'm bold two, and I've got three auto bots. Three immersed in shadow, in case you have to direct damage around. And also, it's uh, orange black. Three combat dagger, because it's orange black, and it's that extra bold one, which is really helpful for power train. I, I am. Uh, I'm not very good at not putting three of a kind in in, in, in deck. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just unless it's green, I find that unless I put three of them in, I never see it. I've got three fusion borers because plus three pierce three on a black pip is <laughs> is wrong. Seems <laughs> seems okay. And that's all my upgrades. Mm -hmm. Um for my actions, I've got a single reprocess because 
getting rid of utilities is a thing. I've got Speed Master of Metallicato because it's one of my favourite actions from Wave 5. It's fun, to, it's fun to flip with Braun, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing on Braun. You can get him, you can quite easily get him to swing out for like Pierce 8, Pierce 9 and have the amount of damage underneath him with Master, uh, underneath that with Master of Metallicato. Mm -hmm. I've got three four-wheel drives. Because okay. I've got three because I've got three trucks. One of the uh, actions that you gave me was hit and run. Mm -hmm. So I've got three of them. Let's go! I love hit and run. There you go. So, <laughs> you use it much. Uh, it's in my deck too. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> if you hit and run crankcase to draw another one, essentially you're not depleting your hand. You're maintaining those six cards in hand. And you can still flip him back, get his plus eight, and then if you've totally drawn into a good weapon or something, you can put that on him and away you go. Three steady shots, because plus two, and it's blue-black. I've got three fight for positions. Um, bold is really, really massive uh, in this deck because of the amount of black pips in it. It's also really, really strong for brawn and power drain. Uh, three rock tosses, um, because I really like that card, and it's orange-black. And then three wedge formations, because in this deck actually it's quite useful because you've got three melee characters, mm -hmm. and then when crankcase is flipped, he's arranged. Total number of cards is 42, and 27 of them are black pips. There you go. So it, um, yeah, so it, like that's where the bold becomes really, really useful, and then also brawn as well. Mm -hmm. um, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, right. All right. And so. That's the interesting team. <laughs> With that, uh, we have three sturdy javelins because uh, we have two range characters. The detritus and the night racer are both range, so it's you know you get to throw it, you get to deal two damage, and then your wind span gets a defense. And then I have three fusion wars, same thing: three attack, three pierce, gets scrapped, goes underneath wingspan. Three grenade launchers, same situation, get to smash and get scrapped. Goes underneath wingspan. Then I only have two improvised shields. I just couldn't find room for a third. I have one bashing shield. I have one pocket processor. Uh, I have one enforcement batons, and I will explain that one in a little bit. And then I have one RR disrupt RR disruptor blade. Um, so that once again is basically just another weapon that it's not guaranteed that this one's going to scrap, but it's mainly there because of uh, some of the battle cards from the mercenaries and stuff like that. Well, that we'll get into. Uh, yep. And then my last three cards that I think are somewhat fairly interesting uh are two increased durabilities and an increased power cell and sure. the reason with that is is because i want to start it off with my first battle card that i'm going to get into is swerve uh so with swerve if you attack into my detritus i can flip my detritus and i can actually play a black card so I can actually like play an increased power cell or play an increased durability uh, to gain myself four health or to gain myself three health. Um, so it's kind of like a, it's not a force field. It's not nearly as good as force field, but it was just the idea that you could maybe I can mess up your numbers um, and stuff like that. Like the plan is like, oh, I'm just gonna throw off your numbers by three or four. So if you think that you're gonna get there, and then all of a sudden it's like, yeah. oh wait, like my 14 health character is a 17 health character or an 18 health character. It might just mess up in numbers enough to keep my guy alive. To come off of the swerve also, I have a one I have a one of disassemble, which is also pretty interesting because I can destroy a weapon uh, like yeah. in combat. So like if you attack me with a weapon, I can be like, oh, I you know swerve, turn my guy into a into alt mode, disassemble your weapon. That That's also cool. that also came with the same idea for the enforcement batons because I have dual wield, so I actually can also play dual wield off of it to bring enforcement batons back in to destroy a weapon. Um, so definitely just like, <laughs> just like I was really really into Detritus on in this. All right, <laughs> I won't lie. So, so we have the just the to go back. We have the two swerves. We have the one disassemble. We have two dual wields, um, and then we also have one contract contingencies. Uh, which is the bounty the get a bounty either way, which is either the heal three or whatever But you get the plus two attack and then I have two opportune offensives uh, Which are the few and far between on the blue cards here, but I I really really wanted to play the Autobot one and then realized that I couldn't because I had all Decepticons and a mercenary so 
I wanted to be on theme with the heel, and I'm just like, man, this doesn't work with wingspan, so I just, I'm gonna play this other one. The cards that you gave me were Intelligence Missing and Team Up Tactics, and I ended up with a truck and a car, so I'm playing two Team Up Tactics. Uh, so I can either I can either draw two cards or I can heal from the detritus. So it still is on theme with the idea of healing the detritus to like make that detritus last longer. Other cards to play off the swerve are Camion Crash. I mean this card just insane. Period. But yeah, it's with, just a wicked card. With <laughs> three with three of these, um, it's the same scenario where like I can flip, you know, deal damage to a guy and then maybe even KO your guy in combat or something yeah, like that. Like just just like. Just some interesting things, like depending on how the turns go. Like it's just a powerful. It's another powerful black card. And then I have two magnetic rays. I have once again. I have a mercenary and two uh, Decepticon. So I'm only dealing one to myself. You have a lot of Autobots over there, so I get yeah, to man. I get to Great. ping. I, I get to health as well. I get to ping some of your Autobots down. Uh, I have three piece to tyranny because you know piece to tyranny. Um, <laughs> and then I have two hold the lines because. Uh, with me being a three wide, I was worried that if you did go wider to me, I was going to have to find a way to stay alive. So I guess I got that one right because you did go four yeah. wide. So I was like, all right, well, at least I have some type of maybe defense to, to survive that turn. I don't know that it's going to work, but hey, it was it was part of the plan. And then my last card was the hit and run for the same concept of uh, what you were saying is that flipping wingspan, I can draw a card. Flipping detritus, I can play an extra card. So it's kind of the same thing. Like I can cycle through, draw a card play another black action, play another black, you know, play a black upgrade. So it was more or less just giving me those free turns to, to do some of those things and just move around damage. And it went, it was on pace with the healing and stuff like that. Um, so that, that's what I went with. I really went all in on the detritus and, and just like trying to abuse her with her black cards, along with the combination of all these cards that get scrapped, they all get to go away. And the same thing in the dual wield also plays into the, uh, the wingspan as well, because you scrap it at the end of the turn. So um, it was another way to just. Is it all cards or is it just upgrades? Whenever an upgrade is scrapped, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so like, how many black tips have you got in your deck? Twenty-two, so twenty-two of forty, so so fifty percent. All right, well, thanks for sitting down with me today. These were our deck profiles for round two, and uh, we'll be back with round three, guys. Looking forward to it. Let's go. Round three, fight. All right, we are back for round three of the Deck Tech Challenge. Today we will be playing a battle report, as Lee likes to call it, which, shout out to you, Lee. I think that's an interesting way to do it, but I dig it. And I'm back once again with my friend Mondo. How you doing today, Mondo? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Not bad. So it's pretty cool. You know, we got our... We, we, we decided to wait until the set came out, so we were able to get our actual cards. So I actually have a real wingspan and a real strategic air left here and real cards in my deck so that's really fun <laughs> the only one i'm cheating with is wind sweeper uh, the wind through, charger so. wind charger <laughs> wind charger sorry yeah <laughs> that's okay it's okay you, you can't even tell you, you could have just not said anything and no one would have known <laughs> all right would you like to call odd or even uh i will go with odd all right even uh i will go first all right <laughs> all right good luck sir yeah, you too, man. Here's a good game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll draw for turn. I'll flip a detritus. And... Huh. All right, we'll send a night racer at, um, at wind charger. Thank you, Dave. We have a three pierce two. Cool. I defended two, take two. Uh, draw. Um, flip crankcase. Yep. And attack with wind charger into night racer. So one, two. Uh, I hit you for nine pierce two. Take seven. Brutal. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. All right. I'll draw the track. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now we got some stuff. Alright, let's... Try, let's do some math here. So, three... I mean, that's okay. Alright, let's, uh... Kaming Crash. Put a damage on Detritus. Put a two damage on Wind Charger. Yeah, up to four. 
Yep. Um, let's put an enhanced power cell on Windsman. Then we are going to flip our Detritus. And we flip this mode, you may yep. play a black card. So I'm going to play Opportune Offensive. So I'm going to give him plus three attack and pierce three. So right. we're going to swing at him. All right, so we are three, six, seven. Uh, I've defended two, take five, so I'm up to nine. All right. Okay, let's do this. Right, draw. I'm gonna flip wind charger to draw again. Yep. How much health wingspan have? Uh, 11 plus the power cell gives him to 14. 14. And how many stars is he, please? Uh, he is 8 stars. Okie dokie, right. So, um, I'm going to stick a grenade launcher on crankcase. Seems okay. <laughs> I've got 5 in hand. Yep. So, here's plus 3 triggers. And we're going to go into wingspan. Um, 1, 2, hit a crit. One, two. So I hit you for 14, pierce three. All right, so protect two, take 12. Go, go, Paracel, go. <laughs> I will take this, disassemble. Cool. All right, let's draw a card. Um, let's flip our Detritus. Let's play an increased durability on our Detritus. We will set a secret action. Let me move back here. I like, I don't know, I, I like putting my secret actions up here so we know. We'll put a marker on it. Here you go, here's my giant marker. Here's my Perceptor toy. That's my <laughs> shout out to Perceptor in the video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I will attack your, uh, your wind charger there. Uh, one. Two, three, four. Uh, we're at seven. I defended two, take five, and did. All right, so we'll trigger bounty and we'll heal three damage from this. Right, uh, draw? Yep. So I'm going to put an unflinching courage on Brawn. Uh, yeah, that's the bold card, right? Yeah. Yeah, give him bold two. Uh, and then I'm gonna put a four-wheel drive on powertrain. All right, make some seven attack, gotcha. Yeah, uh, so uh, I'm gonna send Brawn into wingspan. Yep. Would you like to use a secret action? No. Cool, okay, Wait. so one, Let me double check, two. let me double check, but I don't think so. Nope. Cool, All one, right. two, bold two. So it hit you for four pierce four essentially. Uh, dead. Apologies. Uh, I'm gonna ditch a. No, I'm not gonna ditch a. Right. So keep those to one side, and then powertrain into night racer. Cool. So uh, powertrain into you. I hit you for seven, eight, pierce three. Uh, defend for two. Got him. Alright. My secret action goes away. There's a swerve. Uh, I will untap. Yep. Let's draw a card. Alright. Four wheel drive spun as well. So that's uh unflinching courage there, right? Yeah, unflinching courage, yeah. Alright, we will disassemble that. I don't think I'm going to cool. KO. Do I draw a card for that? Yep. Cool. And then... Flip Detritus. Crankcase has how much health? Uh, 11 health and 1 defense. Alright. We'll play Javelin on Detritus. We'll attack Crankcase and we'll shoot a Javelin at him. Yep. There you go, he's got two on now. Uh, ten. Uh, I defended one, take nine, he's dead. 
Got him. All right. Yeah. That was pew awesome. pew. <laughs> All I needed was a single blue. <laughs> <laughs> right, my go. Uh, yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to put a sturdy javelin on brawn and a four-wheel drive on powertrain. Um, Seems good. I'll send powertrain into you first. Uh, one, two, fold one. So I hit you for eight, pierce three. Take seven. And then I'll send Braun into you. Because he's not ranged, I can't ping the sturdy javelin, but I do get plus two, so that's quite nice. Yep. So one, two. So I hit you for three, five, six, pierce one, two, three, four. Six, pierce four. Six, five. All right, we on tap. Round him up. Draw. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to get pretty lucky here to KO this Baron. <laughs> so. I got the strat on. I didn't put it, unfortunately. That's okay. All right, so I think I have to stay in this mode. So we're gonna play Magnetic Defunction Ray. So we'll do 2D for your guys. One of mine. I think I just have to stay in this mode and hope to get there. So, can't get the heal, but that's okay. All right, so we'll attack Braun. Cool. Like the guy we have to. We did not get <laughs> there. Uh, six, Pierce, four. Uh, defended two, take four. Yep. Six. That will be the game for sure. Uh, yeah. Hold on a <laughs> so, I'm about to do something that's pretty dirty. I actually owe you an apology in a second because my cards have been incredibly favourable in this game. Ah, oh, it's alright. It happens. You you drew like three or four more cards than me, also. So. Yeah, yeah. The the wind charger uh, ability is really, really, really cool. Um, Right, uh, I'm putting I'm putting a four wheel drive on powertrain. All three of them, huh? That's pretty cool. All right, I see you. So I see you. What my apology was going to be for <laughs> um, when I attacked with crankcase with a grenade launcher, I had yeah. two four wheel drives in hand. There you when go. When you got rid of that, I drew a third. There you go. Got them all. To see all four wheel drives in one game is ridiculous. Um, I'm going to put a combat dagger on him as well. You got it. <clears throat> we'll go in with brawn. One, two, so I hit you for three, five, pierce, uh, three. Okay. I have one health remaining. I'm glad your powertrain is a billion attack. <laughs> so, oh, I got the blue one, too. Look at that. Two, totally matters. Two. So yeah, he hits you for eight. Uh, Alright, take seven, and you got me. <laughs> Alright. Good game, sir. Um, yeah, it was a good game. You win! Well done! You lose! I guess you just want to do a wrap-up with the decks, just so like we can talk about it one more time? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, I did get the whole double detritus black card play which is pretty much what i was building for the deck um the turn where you like overkilled both of my characters i was like obviously i was hoping that maybe you were just going to try and put a bunch of damage here that's why i played the swerve was like if you play the swerve i can get rid of the unflinching courage which is what i was kind of hoping for but obviously it wasn't i you didn't even have the unflinching courage at that point so it was like i was just playing the swerve to just like hope to like disassemble gets played on something but <laughs> It, even when I did it, I, I had no idea if you were even going to get an upgrade that it was going to work or not. So it was more or less just like a, this is the card to my hand, so I'm just going to go for it. I didn't get any like the pocket processor or, or like I didn't get an early team up tactics to draw more cards to like try and feel that. So I was only able to do it one time. So like if if I were to like continue messing around with this deck, I, once again I don't I don't think this strategy, this three wide strategy, works at all for three wide orange in the new format. Um, and even you, like you didn't even abuse the idea of playing a titan. Like instead of playing the two fives, like you could have just had a titan there, you know, like uh, and yeah. and mess around with that idea. 
So this this structure, whether it's fun, it's cool, it's interesting. Um, I don't know that like if the detritus with the wingspan is the best thing. Like maybe you'd have to, you probably have to lean more blue. But my fear with leaning more blue was the idea that you know this card doesn't really mean anything at that point. And that was kind of the point was to play the wingspan and, and try and use this card. But even there, you saw like in the first two turns, I didn't get any upgrade that sacrificed itself. So since I didn't do that, it never even got the increased defense. So it actually just didn't matter. Um, but like I said, Detritus, I think Detritus is actually the takeaway here. The wingspan is leans a lot more work, I think. And I think you would need to, I don't know, try a bunch of different things with it. You'd have to build into him, wouldn't you? Like, you'd, yeah, you'd it, have to it's... build into wingspan and he'd have to be like the main character you to get some kind of action out of basically yeah whereas you know and then maybe have like two have like three people supporting him yeah and i think yeah, that's my problem have, though have like every disposable weapon under the sun but yeah i, I i'm i'm disassembling this deck mm -hmm. i've had really I, i've had really good games with it like it's been really quite successful but there's a really nice synergy i think between wind charger and crankcase yeah it gave him a little more yeah He's always coming in for seven. Yep. On the first turn, and then on the second turn, it's bet like he should be coming in for um, eight. Right. Uh, a card that you can play on him. So if you stack your deck correctly, you can have a grenade launcher or an RR disruptor blade or anything that gives you that really healthy um, bump, bump. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm disassembling it after this game basically because. I think you do need to focus on Titan Masters. I mean, it's the point of the wave, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and some of them are absolutely amazing. Like, I really want to build a Skull Smasher there. Spoilers for Mondo's next opponent. He wants to play Skull Smasher. <laughs> yeah, Skull Smasher and Horrible. I definitely think I'm going to be building those. Well, let's thank Lee for a moment here for uh, hosting this. Yeah, man. And uh, we had a bunch of we had a bunch of fun. You know, we had three different sessions together. So, um, you know, definitely thank Lee. Like. We never probably would have met if it weren't for this event, so that's also really cool. Um, nice, so, nice. huge shout out to Bleep Up Productions, Lee and Mike, and everybody that's putting this together and helping the community bring, you know, all the content as many content creators as you could get to come in and play this event and uh, just have a good time. All right, and I want to thank you, Mondo. Uh, virtual handshake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cheers for recording, Dan. I really yeah. No problem, no problem. And, uh, you know, let's. I guess we'll have to wait and see what the next round brings. Alright, have a nice day, Mondo. Yeah, you too, Dan. <laughs>